Good morning. This is Deborah Wortham, Superintendent, Roosevelt Union Free School District. I'm here in the studio with Dr. Linda Michelle Barron. Dr. Barron is the chair of the Department of Teacher Education at York College. Not only that, Dr. Barron is the chair of the Long Island Links Arts Facet. Dr. Barron, good morning. Good Thank morning. you. Thank you. Such a pleasure being here. Today, it gives me great pleasure to announce the third Young Master Writers Program Competition. And the Young Masters Writers Program Competition is open to all high school students. It is actually sponsored by the Eastern Area of the Lynx Incorporated. Mm -hmm. There are several submissions, poetry, essays, short stories, and you want to remember this. The submission deadline is April 30th. Mm -hmm. There will be cash prizes. Winning and selected entries will be published. You will become an author. Your work mm -hmm. will be published. Here are the things. African American life or history, description of works of art by African American artists, and national or local leaders. Dr. Linda Michelle Barron is going to talk to us this morning about the rules and the guidelines for the Eastern Area Young Master Writers Program. Dr. Barron, Talk to us about the entries. When must the entries be submitted? You know, the last date is April 30th, mm -hmm. but you don't want to wait till the last no. minute. You really want to get it in. So we want to, as a facet, which is a committee, we want to look over the entries and make sure that all of the components mm -hmm. are in place. Mm -hmm. We want to ensure, so you, if, they're not, if they're not there, we need to be able to get to you, get to the teacher, whoever's mm -hmm. making the submission, and say, oh, you forgot this, or mm -hmm. you need to do that, so that we have everything in a package to right. submit to the Eastern area. Right. Um, that would include, we need to make sure that if you're submitting a poem, mm -hmm. it's not just one poem. Mm -hmm. You must submit three poems, mm -hmm. and you want them to have some uniformity. Mm -hmm. So you might have a small, they ask for a short statement mm -hmm. that would say something about each of the poems, okay. or if you're going to write an essay or short story, mm -hmm. you still have a short little statement mm -hmm. that would indicate what this is about and just how to frame it for right. the reader. Um, it's a wonderful thing to describe the theme mm. and kind of make those connections. When you write, we really are asking you to focus on the African American experience. Mm -hmm. um, the Lynx is an organization that really of women of African descent. That's right. So they encourage right. learning about us, no matter who or what we are. We mm -hmm. call males and females in grades nine through twelve. That's right. In high school, and we want to make sure that it's submitted in a Word document. PDF file preferred, mm -hmm. and we're going to ask that they all be submitted ele electronically. Great. Okay, with um, uh, um, uh, but it must be typed. Can't be handwritten. Absolutely. Electronic. Absolutely. And twelve point font. You know, we don't want a little bitty font. We don't want a whole. We want twelve point, <laughs> and then we want to make sure that it's clearly, and you know, all the specifics will be said to you, but I'm just right. trying to make sure you know it's pro professionally presented. And you want to make sure the spelling and punctuation That's and right. the grammar That's is what right. you want it to be. You know, we know when it's a poem or your short story, there's some creativity involved, mm -hmm. but mm -hmm. you want to make sure that what is on the page is correct to the degree you wish it to be. That means if um, sometimes when I write poetry, and I'm a poet too, we didn't mention that. Mm -hmm. but when I write poetry, sometimes I write um, in, a, in a less standard way of presenting myself, mm -hmm. but that's the way I choose to write it. Right. Then it is correct, there's not an issue of grammar and punctuation mm -hmm. with that, mm -hmm. but if I'm writing it in an academic format, mm -hmm. or what, we want it to be correct. Well, oh, you know what? 
I forgot to tell them parents, they have to get permission from their parents. Oh, that's that right. That is Absolutely. big. Absolutely. That is huge. We're going to send this, this, you have a sheet that you're going to be sent that has all of the specifics. Mm -hmm. You don't need us to tell you every detail now. But those of you who are inspired and motivated to participate, you will, your, hopefully your teacher, well, if you get in, you do it yourself. I think that's permissible. I think so. You can then get a link which will have all of the guidelines and even questions and answers right there and the permission slip so you mm -hmm. know what to do. Excellent. You know, we just want to share some frequently asked questions mm -hmm. with you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to ask the question and Dr. Barron will give us the answer. Okay. Dr. Barron, who is eligible to participate as a writer in the project? Thank you for asking that because we've said it, but it really has to be reinforced. If you're in ninth, 10th, 11th, or 12th grade, mm -hmm. male or female, you can participate. Great. How should the Young Master Writers Project be implemented by local chapters? Well, this is so important. Our local chapter is the Long Island mm -hmm. chapter of the Lynx. And so we are inviting our partners. We really focus in on, in our area, we have specific areas mm -hmm. in Freeport, Roosevelt, That's Westbury, right. Right. Um, Brentwood, um, Hempstead, mm -hmm. and I, I think I mentioned everyone, but you know what, we're hoping we might send this link all over the eastern Great. area. So if you're not in the Long Island area, you're still invited to participate. Great. Can writers use any kind of inspiration for their literary pieces? You know, because this um, was developed as a competition through the Long Island Lynx, mm -hmm. they really wanted to focus on the African American experience. Okay. So they okay. said, you know what, we wanted it to be um, poetry or prose, mm -hmm. but that really is geared towards the um, works of art. Yeah, it could be a literary art. It could even be um, if you read you read a book by mm -hmm. someone of African descent or mm -hmm. heard poetry or if you've been to a museum where you've seen works of Good. art. Um, there okay. are other ways and experiences of leaders, of those in your own life or family That's or right. others that you can write about. Now, after mm. I've done all of this work, yes. who will judge the competition? Oh, you know, there's two phases of judging. Okay. One, when you get this, it's going to say that you submit it to the Eastern area itself. We want you to first submit it to the local chapter so mm -hmm. we could look at it first mm -hmm. and make sure, as I mentioned before, all of the components are there. Okay. And we judge to make sure that when we send this forward, mm -hmm. it's the best work that we can represent. Outstanding. And then the Eastern area then has judges that are from various um, colleges and other, and writers okay. who will read and judge. All right, so I've completed this assignment. I have entered the competition. Mm -hmm. My work is being judged. I have another question. Okay. Will there be any monetary awards Ooh. for the winner? Am I going to get some money? Ah, you know what? First of all, I believe it's the joy of the competition. That's okay? true. You'll That's win true. if you participate. Mm -hmm. I know because I'm a writer and I just know sometimes there's nothing but that intrinsic motivation. Mm -hmm. But it's nice to get a little money if you win. <laughs> That's right. But you know what? We have uh, two ways of winning, I mm -hmm. think. One is our local chapter has a celebration where mm -hmm. every participant is invited and there and some of them can be asked to read some of their work. Oh. They can invite their, their a parent and teacher, okay. Okay. whoever. So that's one, but there is also a monetary award Great. for those who win for the whole Eastern region. And, oh, you know what I didn't tell you? What? The ones that are submitted and they and they have the permission slips and they're mm -hmm. done as, as as following the guidelines. There's a book. <gasps> they're in published in Great. a book that's Great. sold, and you will then be a published, copywritten 
author. That sounds great. Now, my final question, and you've said this before, but I just want to make okay. sure we're clear. What is the timeline for submission? I would ask the the actual last date is April 30th. Okay. But if everything isn't in place, there's, you can't submit anything after that date. Okay. So I would recommend sending it a few days before so we have an opportunity to check off that everything is in. Fantastic. Well, that concludes all of, all of the facts, all of the questions that I have. Final comments? You know what I'd like to do? You know, they say that you could respond to a work of art. I told you that I am a poet, mm -hmm. which that's a work of art. So for those of you who need something to get you started, I think I'm going to do a poem, hoping I can remember it. I just had this burst of inspiration. It's called You Talking to Me. And from this, you have to imagine me being a young man. He says, you talking to me? You trying to buy me with lollipops? I can buy and sell you and still can't pay the cops. You asking me how old am I? Ask your mom unless you want to die. You talking to me? I don't know. Oh, I told you I might remember. You know, I got started. You may want to finish that poem. That may be one of the beginnings. I got one that I think I can remember the whole thing. I'd like to share this one. It's called Fragile Handle with Care. It says, I don't want to hide or change my color. I believe there's a creator above who especially chose this tint, poured it all over me with love. He used his broadest paintbrush to add the details of my features. He contoured my entire body to be prominent among his creatures. Mm -hmm. He designed my broader nose and curved my fuller lips. He contoured my entire body even added extra accents to my hips. Mm -hmm. He gave me a crown of lamb's wool, twirled each curl with care. He thought of his lamb sent to earth while designing each strand of my hair. So I pretend not to see a difference, as if there's some kind of shame in being who and what I am in there trying not to cast blame. Some try to prove they love me by comparing me to others in my race, who they think are unusually wonderful. So they slot me into that space. Don't excuse me for the group of me. Don't accuse me for it either. Ethnicity can't make right or wrong. It's time we teach ourselves it's neither. Who are we to pick and choose, elevate, or diminish a human's worth when the Creator designed and individually signed mm. every creature on this earth? We are uniquely handcrafted to be more than the sum of each part. <laughs> we are masterpieces handled with care irreplaceable works of his art. Wow. Hope that motivates you, get you started. Please participate, we want to hear from you. Thank you so very much for joining us today and we wish you well. Take care.